Welcome, everybody, to this issue of BC Jedi Archives. I'm your host, Mike. And I'm your co-host, Jonathan. And today we're going to be doing a quick wrap-up review just to finish up the High Republic Volume 2, uh, starting with Issue 7, finishing up with Issue 10. Yeah, we have a lot of content to go over. A lot. Yeah, we're going to wrap up the High Republic series for you guys, give you your final thoughts, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So starting with issue number seven of Star Wars The High Republic, it's the battle for the Force, chapter two, the Siege of Enlightenment, which is, of course, Baden's Bar on Jeddah. And this is the main cover, and I love it. Because it has Craven there in the bottom right corner, owner, proprietor of Enlightenment. It's got Maddie, Taserek, and Bildar Meg, our trio. And it's got the the Twinkle Sisters yeah. in the background. <laughs> this is a, yeah, this is a good shot. And then this is another one which has... Um, yeah. Oh my god, I don't have that one. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's a great variant, and it's got... Uh, Jedi Master Olivia, Zevron, right? Olivia Zevron, uh, guarding oh the statue of the That's Jedi in the one. desert. So Jedi, my favorite covers. I didn't even know it existed. Like, it's a good it one, right? <laughs> just made me spend money. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love that one. So I take it this is your favorite. <laughs> well, I don't know what's up. Let me take a photo of it so I remember to get it. <laughs> I'll bring you back up. <laughs> then we have this cover, which is very typical. It shows the you know the struggle and how Vildar and Maddie are trying to hold back the. So I have that mom. one. It's it's a good one. I like the glowing on their faces. Yeah, it looks the glowing of the lightsabers. Yeah, it's very cool. dire. Like we're in trouble here. We're surrounded. Mm -hmm. So only three variants for issue seven. And uh, I think this is my favorite. Uh, it has to be. That's one of my all time. I'm taking yeah. a photo of it right now because I want to buy it later. It's that's really one of my good. All time for this series. I mean, yeah, that's dope. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Looks really good. And so in this one, the battle on Jeddah has commenced. And they started with attacking the the temple, you know, trying to and they're trying to escape from there. And I'm trying to remember um real quick, Olivia. Is she uh why is she on uh Jeddah? She's on Jeddah. I don't remember exactly why she's here, but she is a master. She's kind of like She's a little bit insecure and unsure. She's not sure what she's doing. She's got questions about her character. And then we'll find out later as we finish this series. And also as we read the the other book from Phase 2, which came out before these issues and it was a spoiler. So, And I read everything right away, so it spoiled okay. these issues for me. So don't do that. Um, but we find out a, a big secret. Should I just reveal it now? Does it matter? Yeah. I mean, kind yeah. of a spoiler. Well, um, it's the Path of the Open Hand is run by the mother, and the mother is actually Olivia's older sister. Remember in the beginning yeah. issue when I told her that, that they were having that flashback, and I said, that looks like the mother. And you guys yeah. said, oh, no, that little girl is Olivia. I'm like, no, because I said, it looks more like the mother. But she was doing yeah. Jedi things. So we find out in the book that uh, the mother... Um, Elise is the name Alicia. Yeah. So Alicia Zevron, we find her name is. She's the older sister of of uh, Olivia Zevron. That and really with, spoils this if you read that book. <laughs> right. Yes. And so you know when when the Jedi went to go visit them, um, Alicia was not as strong as Olivia, so they only took Olivia, and Alicia was a little bit salty. And so she's been trying to get back at the Jedi because of that. But she is force sensitive, just not as strong as um, her younger sister. Yeah, she can't be too much because then the uh, she'd be affected by the leveler. Well, she is affected by the leveler. So <laughs> that's a spoiler, too. I'm fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you're on the right track. So pay attention to the clues. Um, um, 
So yeah, lots of spoilers, everyone. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alerts. So that's issue number seven. Now, um, Olivia is protecting the temple there because Master Liban went inside. What we didn't know is that Master Liban, that they have a... Remember in the book where they have the Bogan collection? And the Bogan collection is all the Sith artifacts that the Jedi yeah. are hiding and keeping under lock and key. There's another Bogan collection inside that statue. Yeah, which... Uh... And only Master Liban knew, but nobody else knew. But Master Liban knows that they went there to find the Rod of Seasons. They, somebody else knew because they knew to look there. So this is very right. interesting. Yeah, well, there are a few people that know, but it's got to yeah. be somebody high up. So there's definitely spies. Yeah, in the Jedi Order. There's, there's... Right. So, Within yeah. everywhere. So this is issue number seven. And then we have issue number eight. Where this cover has my favorite Jedi, Bildar Mac. And you can see he's being affected by the leveler. And then there's this variant. That's a cool one, too. I don't have that one. It's got Maddie and Bildar and uh, the, the ghost. What he's haunted the by. one of, of uh Tund, the sorcerer of Tund, who was I think they dark side. Say the name in one of these. Yeah, they do say his name, I think. Um, but he's also from Tund. Yeah. And but all the people from Tund regret him because he went to the dark side. So they all feel bad about it. They call what... it the dark side of the unity or something like that. So they have right. a word for it, and they call him an apostate and all an apostate, this. right, right. So this is a cool cover, and they're on Jetta. You see Jetta in the think background. About it, I mean, the dark side affects the way physically how it changes your body. So it, they're using the dark side. You don't have to be a Jedi or a Sith to be affected by the Force. So yeah, they just kind of have it been monopolized. But we find out obviously in these Jedi, there's all kinds of other ways to use the Force. So if you use it malicely, it affects how you work. Your appearance, right, Look. right. And this here's another variant for issue number eight. And we see here Martyr Robe with um, the Herald. This is uh, Marta's sister, right? Oh, yes. It's Which one's the one that's with the mother? Is it Marta? Marta's with the mother. So She's the one that takes care of the littles? Yeah. So then this is her sister, right? She's the one that was going out and... She was one of the children yeah, stealing artifacts. That. Yeah. You know what I really love about this? If you look really closely, this is the first time you get that detail. Look in, like, her eyes. Because this is Mark Yonrell's race. Her eyes are almost like, it's not black. It's like a void of space. It's very different. Right. I don't know if you get a good look on it. But, yeah, it's it's different. It's not just black. Looks like a galaxy in there, right? Yeah. So I wonder if that's. An artistic choice, or that's how they really look, because that would be so cool if that's how they really looked. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. And it has just a little sliver of whites, the whites of their eyes, and a little sliver. Yeah, I really like this cover. Uh, the one thing that first caught me off guard, I thought it was a misprint, because that pink stripe down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what happened? Like, the ink ran out? But no, it's how it's supposed to look. But still a really cool artistic design for a cover. It's like a, a light flare. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so those are the three covers for this issue. And in this issue, what happens is that's really a terror in the dunes. Terror on the dunes of blood. One Jedi lies dying in Jedi's forest desert, and another is missing. Can Bildar, Maddy, and Tay escape the Siege of Enlightenment in time to save them both? And all the time, the leveler waits in the shadows, desperate to feed. Plus, the identities of the mysterious raiders are revealed. And we know, of course, the raiders are from the path of the open hand. Yes. This one kind of jumps a second. They skip what happens to uh, the uh, Olivia and uh, God, what was that, the the cat Jedi's name? Le Master Liban. Master Liban. Yeah. Name. Well, Olivia. At the end of seven, Olivia contacts uh, Vildar through the comlink, and it's like a it's it's not a strong connection, but he's like, "Hey, I need help." And then all of a sudden, we see that she gets stabbed mm -hmm. by her lightsaber. Because she's been impaired by the leveler. And well, that's so the end, that's the end of eight. No, that's the beginning of nine. End of eight, end of seven, you see them 
all of a sudden they're they're protecting the statue. And we don't know why. Oh, and right, then, right, right. Then, oh, the next thing is like, oh, guess what? There's stuff in it. <laughs> right. There's she didn't know, but Master Levon did. You're yeah. right. You're right. And then I think in eight, she when she gets kind of run through, spoiler alert, but yeah. So <laughs> well, because in nine, no, she's been stabbed already. In because eight. in eight, she's stabbed. Yeah. Because then in nine is when they go, so they're trying to get out. And so Tay's like, let's take the tunnels. Is that, they cut away what happens there. In end of uh, seven, they're defending the thing, and then eight, they're defeated. <laughs> <laughs> right. We gotta just like, run right over that. But I think it's it's that's in the book though. There it is. Yes. So that's why when I read the book, all of that got ruined because I knew, oh wait a minute. I knew who survives, who doesn't. I'm assuming we're just supposed to assume has something that they bring the leveler in and it kind of kicks their butt, but we don't really see what happens. Yeah, you read that in the book. So mm -hmm. path of deceit. Wow, the book really is uh it's I really good. It side by it's, side. It's not side by side. It's intertwined and overlaid. Yes. <laughs> really good. So in issue number nine, the battle for the force chapter four, the hand of Siberus, um, they do make it through the tunnels. Uh, Taserek and uh, Vildarmac make it to get out of enlightenment through the underground tunnels. And then Maddie stays back to help the, because they're, 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 keeping people safe within enlightenment from yeah. the people that are battling outside. The riots, yeah. From the riots. And so Maddie stays, and plus there's a collapse in the tunnel. So Maddie's on the other side of the collapse. And then Taserag actually saves Vildar's life during that collapse. Well, yeah, well, they they get through the tunnel, and then on the other side of the tunnel, they find... Oh, we didn't go... Are we doing the covers first? Oh, yeah, let's do the covers. Yeah. So the covers <laughs> for nine... Sorry. Uh, so it says... Uh, Here's the main cover, and we see Taserek with a gauntlet on his hand, and this is the, the Hand of Siberus, which is a Sith artifact. It pretty much uh, allows them to use this Force Lightning. So yes. It's like it's they endowed the Infinity Gauntlet with Force Lightning abilities, so it's right. kind of like, you don't have to have the Force to use Force Lightning, so it's pretty cool, and as, uh, as you will see in this, it is pretty devastating. Yeah, it is pretty cool, yeah. but it also takes control of you so it takes it it robs you of your self so it's very dangerous to have it um, and i really like this <laughs> issue because in this episode um taserek gets killed by the herald you know so and vildar mac is really really upset by that um i really like the journey that they've had in terms yeah. of their their growth as they really care for each other and then this variant right here has Maddie. That's another cool one. I it's a beautiful. The artwork one. for this is beautiful. It's a virgin oh, cover. You can just really appreciate the artwork here. Really nice. That one. <laughs> That's a dope one. Here's a third one. And we see Maddie going into battle against the leveler. Know. Is that what it was? Yeah, I don't know. It's like almost looks like the uh the tree. The drink here? Oh. Yeah, drink here, but like, yeah, yeah but you know what? Remember, because the leveler they see what they fear, uh, okay, so they don't actually see the leveler itself. It the force that it has makes them see what they fear any force user. And it's then the last, the last variant like covers this one. That's, that was a good one, too. Yeah, this one has Olivia Zevron on the cover, and Olivia, who we now know, is the younger sister of Alicia. And so Alicia was using the force to make people like her, and she was manipulating their thoughts. And that's how she would manipulate what? people. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. this is blowing my mind. Because like in the first books, where the other people were like, they just love her. They don't know why they love her. That's why she's, she's using the force to manipulate them. them. Yep. So. Uh, All right. And then so at the end of this issue, you know, uh, I love the ending of. Number nine, I've got to bring this up because at the ending of nine, I think it's like, let's see, let me find it. This is where he, uh, Taserik uses his biological powers, I guess you want to call it. Right, like, his pheromones. Yeah, because yeah, he does have powers. Her so she doesn't die because she's been stabbed. Right, because so. she's been stabbed. So it's yeah, like really, uh, nine. 
Enjoy that. Well, yeah, they, they, after they find her, they, I guess, put her in a coma. <laughs> they put her to deep sleep, right? So she won't bleed out. They, they go into this, the statue and they find all, everything's hitting this, the fan. <laughs> they have the leveler in there. They let Master Lima's in there. They just pretty much killed Lima's her. Lima's dead, yeah. And so here's the part where the attack, and here's the part where the attack takes a wreck. So he has the gauntlet, and then he's, you know, he's turning evil. Yeah, he just kind of ran through them right now. He even, we, we kind of skipped over it. The leveler was attacking Vildar and essentially starting to kill him. Right. With this gauntlet, he levels the leveler, and you never see that yet. Right. So it's like, usually the, it's been pretty impossible, but he just... Right like, here, this part. Yeah. So he's like, let the leveler have its fill. Knowing the the herald sets him onto Vildar. And usually the leveler just has to get near the Jedi and they start to uh, husk. Desiccate. Mm -hmm. But like it's already like, touching him. Like I'm like, oh my god, he's in trouble. And then here you can tell, look at Tacerek, because Tacerek, I think the Tacerek and Vildar Mac, I they love each other. I'm sorry. In my mind, they love each other. And so when he sees the men of his life being attacked, he just goes bonkers and says, no, not Vildar, not today. And he levels a leveler. Kazak. Yeah. Scream! He just runs away. Which which is very, when you think about it, it's like, it's, I, I, don't, I don't want to say fortuitous, or it could be fortuitous, or coincidence, but it could be also by design, store these together, because the the rod of seasons, seasons. Mm -hmm. control this thing that can hurt Jedi. Well, what can hurt this thing? This what do they call it? The glove of the hand of Cy Cyrus Cerberus. Yes. So, which I think is obvious was a made by the Sith who already can control the Sith lightning. So I think they made it as a their version of a weapon against the leveler because these species had been around forever. Because remember the leveler affects force users, so yeah. it would also affect the Sith. Yeah, so I think this is was their deterrent. Their protection, yeah. yeah. And so then here we see how Taser Egg is getting, you know, it's getting consumed by that gauntlet. You know what oh. it's made for? I just figured it out. The Sith have always had uh, like worshippers or acolytes that work for them. They made this to give their non-force users that worship them to defend them. That's to keep why them safe. Yep, that, that makes sense. Cool. That makes sense. And so then he has yeah. a gauntlet, but he doesn't see when. What's Marta's sister's name? Or her cousin? Is it cousin? I can't remember. It's her cousin, yeah. Um, anyway, that's her cousin. She's the one that used to be child, so she... Yana Rowe? Yana Rowe, you're right. So Yana shoots him, so he has no protection against the blaster. And then here you also see how Vildar is affected because he also loves to, he's like, Tay! And then he tells, you know, the he goes back and checks on Tay because he's like, oh my gosh. He says, he saved me and you <laughs> killed him. You know, so Tay's dead. So you well, killed him because yeah. I did nothing. Huh? He says he's dead right there. So the beginning of the next issue kind of threw me for a loop. but Right. So it says that you killed him because I did nothing. But look, the Force is with me and I'm one with the Force. And then he grabs the gauntlet. The Force is with me. I'm one with the Force. The Force is with me. I'm one with the Force. The Force has abandoned me because yeah. he is so distraught. He throws on the gauntlet. He says, to hell with the Force. I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah. It's a dope uh, cell right there. Love yeah. it. Because they just killed the man of his life. You know, so they loved each other deeply. And he just, like, lets them have it. But he's got both of their lightsabers. And then that goes on to the next issue. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So that, that's a really great issue, number nine. And then it ends up with number ten. It's the very last issue in this series and we have here's it says the balance for the force chapter five lure of the dark side the high republic phase two finale the leveler has been unleashed in the secret jedi vault on jedi 
Jedi Knight Vildar Mech has risked everything to defeat the path of the open hand, but in the face of tragedy, he can, can he resist the lure of the dark side? Jedi's battle for the Force reaches its epic conclusion. Here's the main cover. The final yeah. face-off on Jedi. It's interesting that it said finale. That's what that said. The phase two finale. I'm like, wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, the comic book run, even though it's a comic book run's finale, it says phase two finale. Right. Wow. So here's the main cover, and it has Maddie and Vildar protecting the people from the riot on Jeddah. Here we have another cover. This variant has the, the Herald attacking Vildar. Now remember, the Herald is a big, imposing guy. He's modeling, so he's super tall. And Vildar is also super tall, so this is very, like, it's, it's this is a huge battle. And then this variant has Maddie, and it also has the Sorcerer of Tund behind her. I have this one, and this is probably one of my least favorite variants, because it's, it's almost just like, it just snapshots them arguing. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, that's interesting. And here's a fourth Maddie cover, wandering. Maddie walking through the desert, because eventually, remember, she stayed back on, she stayed back in Enlightenment to help create and protect those that they were, a refu- the refugees inside the bar. Yeah. But now she comes out to see, to help out her her new master, which is now Vildar Mag, because they've killed her master, Master Liban. Um, and she makes it out that way. And here's the last variant. It's the same image, but virgin. Man, I, think, I got a variant, but I didn't get the cool ones for 10. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty cool. And so then in this issue, we yeah, do find out. This is what I was saying. It starts off and Taser X alive. I was like, I thought he was dead. Yes, I thought so too. <laughs> well, that's what Tate thought too. But actually, it's, I mean, that's what Bildar thought. Yeah. And the thing is that Tay is able to. It's part of his his um evolution that they can slow themselves to to not be dead. Yeah, yeah, their their physiology, uh, which I'm happy though because I I want more oh, tame builder. Meant more if he would have died. No, <laughs> 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 there's already enough dead Jedi. Master Liban's dead. You know, there's too many dead ones. Um, That's another one, man. They just kill them like. <laughs> I like- know, but Tay and Vildar, <laughs> I love them. <laughs> they're not going to get a happy ending. No, they're not. They're not. None of the Jedi get a happy ending. Um, except for Anakin. He got a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think uh, overall? Do you want to go by the issue 7 through 10? Oh, I, I can't grade them one at a time. That's just... That's too many. So... um. The finale was great. I just seeing, thinking outside the box a little bit with the Jedi, with not just do force abilities, but pretty much Vildar, who's always been kind of, I don't say against the rules, but kind of almost how uh, Qui Gon was, kind of the like rules a gray Jedi the guidelines. That we we need to we have to be in the moment. You have to what really right. works at the moment. And right. so it's just he's all he's kind of a not rebel, but bend the rules a lot. And so to him kind of snap like that at the end, and just almost like imagine if this was a movie or a show, how epic that scene would have been. This is uh oh yeah. Captain America picks up the hammer and it's like he picks up that thing and says ah. He's like to the <laughs> hell to <laughs> hell with the horse. You know, I love it. He was like trying to be so good, he's fighting yes. Leveling them, yeah, he's fast. Yeah, and the scary thing is at work though. Yeah. Him, him, diving deep into the dark side gave him that extra nudge of power. That he was successful, but that's kind of scary because that's how how enticing it well, is. Well, that's how Elzar Man in the end of Phase One was like mm-hmm. he had to snap, he had to go there to defeat right. the uh, Nihil, mm-hmm. and. He did it. He killed a bunch of them, saved a bunch of people, but he went to a place he shouldn't have been. He realized right. it's easy to be that strong. And so... Uh, Cal Kestis, too. If you finish the Jedi 
survivor. Spoiler! Oh, oh no, <laughs> it's not a spoiler because he goes to the dark side. He does it a lot. It's so. not a spoiler. It's a huge spoiler. <laughs> well, he goes. To, you he goes to the that, dark side. Don't watch that. Play that thing for months to finish. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just it's a common recurring theme that the Jedi do get it, it is oh, yeah. the dark side is seductive it's, it's, a, it's, it's very original, scary original uh, original trilogy end up tempting him and then the, the prequel tempted him and he failed I mean it's always about that right and right. so because uh, I mean, even Luke Luke was using the dark side when he went to Jabba's palace and force chokes the Gamorrean guards you know he was using the dark side it was easy that's why he was so successful. It was just very, very seductive. So overall, I do love this series a lot. So I'm going to give my rating. So my Holocar rating for this one, I do give this one 5 out of 5, just because I thought it was a really fleshed out, well-told story throughout the 10 issues. Um, it didn't feel like it was short. Selling the story short, it gave me a full, complete story. It fleshed out all my main characters with uh, our trio. You know, So these were our Han, Luke, and Leia. But it was Maddie, Bill, Darn, and Tay. Really great characters. I love the villains. They were just equally as enticing. Uh, great story. And um, a five out of five holocrons for me. Uh, so out of a series, out of all the series we've read so far, the high Pug, this is probably the best one. So I'm going to give it a real high score. It did seem a little short. I feel like we were just on Jetta, and that was kind of it, a little short. Um, but it gave me Billy Butcher. The, the, yeah. <laughs> I mean, every time I, oh, yeah, it's, <laughs> that's yeah. when I see Vildar. So I'm like, I love that character. Uh, there, top to bottom, great, great character build. I love it. Uh, we get to see huge, out of all the, Whenever we read anything High Republic or anything like that, anything new stars, they always try and expand our universe, but they expand it ge geologically, space, new place like this expanded it philosophically because all the different yeah. ways of using the force. I mean, that's really how to me there is no magic in this universe. It's different ways of using the force. And so it really is like Jedi were really taught through all the stuff we've been Train towards it's good or bad, good side, light side of the force, Jedi Sith, but it's really not. It's just that just happens to be a faction that uses it, and so it's really it really expands that with all this Jedi stuff. So, uh, really, I want to give it 4.75 out of five. I can't give it five. Just wow, my, that's still my high score so far. <laughs> <laughs> that's super high. That That's better maybe than that's five. like <laughs> I just at five out of five has to be. The best thing ever it has to be Luke Skywalker destroying the whole dude. Yeah, it has to be up there. So, but this is Builder Mac is probably him and Elzar Man, not Elzar Man, still in Geos. Uh, probably my two favorite Jedi out of all this so far. And I didn't realize that this was going to be the main run of comics. I thought this was going to be almost like a spinoff. Then I realized this is the main one. It just that was my one little thing I said. It seemed a little confined to like just Jetta stuff like that so may maybe I thought it would have been right. almost like the, the Blade just really this one scenario instead of a longer story like some of the other books have been but still uh, I loved it uh, gave us great characters we really find out about the raw the seasonings seasonings raw the seasonings <laughs> raw the seasons yeah, uh, how they both work together too because you yeah, snap yeah. them together so you've got uh, the raw the the seasons question mark at the end is they have they're half the rod now. So the Jedi. Yes. So I get, I don't, maybe, but we've already, so I don't know how it gets into the possession of the Nihil in, I want to say season two, but in a phase one. So that's what I'm kind of, I have to go back and read. I, it's that, that you learned that in the book. Oh. Uh, so when you read the book, it explains exactly what happened and you find out just how corrupt everything is. I mean, just, it's, Really? It's just, yes, it's really good. So the book is really no, it's good. Not good. I'm tired of these. <laughs> these books have been brutal for me. Like the comic yeah. books, way better. Yeah. The books, man, every time I read one of these Harry Potter books, I'm sad and disappointed. Well, like, yes, it is sad. <laughs> it is sad, but it explains a lot of stuff of the uh, questions that you asked. Uh, it's, it's rough. That's why I stopped reading a little bit. It's like it's just yeah. like 
I need good stuff. And so far, the comics help me a lot, a lot more with that, more uplifting stories. But yeah, that's true. I do want to share this. This is my favorite yeah. panels. My favorite panels from uh, from this series. It's yeah. in issue number eight, I think. Is the hell it's a force one or no? This one, look. So it's when they've had the collapse, and then uh, Tay has just saved Bildar's life. He's like, what are you doing here? It's like, we're talking, right? But then there, he says, Creative thinks you're going for the treasure in the vault. And Tay's like, well, what do you think? But look at how intense they're staring at each other. So then Bildar's staring at him and says, I think you finally got this old dry deck to move. Like, wait a minute, there's something brewing in Bildar's eyes. And then they have this next panel where he's just like, Staring, not blinking. I mean, yeah, you realize there's a whole panel there just to reinforce that he's staring at, each and other. then Tay staring back and smiling. And this is the way you stare at somebody right before you kiss them for the first time. I'm sorry, but so. then the next panel is like he's uh, <laughs> he's not mushy, so it's well, he can't be. Uh, yeah. I know because he's he's trying to fight himself because the Jedi are mm -hmm. supposed to fight attachments. Is so he crying? You, uh, Vildar right there? Is that like a tear built up? In, not Vildar, uh, Taser X I. No, I think it's just a glare. Okay, almost glare like of the light. <laughs> glare of the light. But everybody's there, so they're like, what are you guys doing? He's like, not in front of the others. So, he says, we're not hugging, especially not in front of the others. That means that if there were no people there, they may have been hugging. And possibly kissing. So... <laughs> In my mind, they would have. But, so, Mike, if this is the end of phase one, are we going to get... Phase two. Phase two. Phase two. Is this it for Vildar and their story? We're not going to see him in phase three. Well, Vildar, we don't know how long his species can live because he's not human. He's a near human. He's not in phase one. <laughs> Yet. No, he's not in phase one. You're right. But that doesn't mean that he couldn't have been... Yeah, I just... Somewhere he's else. such a great character, and I hate that. I hate it could be the fact that he's done. I, I, I that, that don't say like, that. I he, love Bill Dar. I would rather have him be the main through the rest of this, but because they're jumping around, driving me nuts. Right timelines, like he might not be in it anymore. I really. Um, want... I need more Bill Dar. Yeah, I I want Bill Dar to be when we go back to our other heroes. Uh, Avar and Elder. Right. I want to say, Oi! Because <laughs> Bill <Dark. laughs> They're some real heroes. I, With the uh, blade. <laughs> yeah, half, half the Jedi's dead. Here's here's the reinforcements. <laughs> and have, maybe little gray streaks right here or something. But I want him to be there. And I'm like, maybe he's not. I, I don't know. Well, that makes me a little nervous. That's too sad. But... They did a great job with him. He's, yeah, yeah. They did a great job. Yeah, this series did a really good job with all their characters, even fleshing out the, even with like Yana Rowe and uh, the Herald and all the other characters. Yeah. The, this this comic series is the reason that I loved the novels in Phase 2 so much more, because I got to know who they were through the comic series, which I started reading first. All right, and yeah, then, I, I need to uh, wrap that up then. Yeah, yeah. you're going to love that book. Yeah. Path of Deceit's really good. I, I want to know more about Maddie. Maddie, this is a great introduction to her. Well, she becomes Bildar's Padawan. Well, if this is it, phase two, as I keep going to, it's like, are we going to, once this is all over, are they going to do back and do spinoffs? Like, kind of I like hope so. I hope so. They because could. I do want to, I want to learn more about them too. Just not part of the phase thing. Like, right, right now, there's still new Darth Vader comics and stuff like that. I mean, I think Luke right. was just a dark Dr. Afra comic. Right. So, I hope we go back and visit these characters and we're not done with these characters. I, I, I want to know, especially since phase two to phase one is like 75 years. Um, give me 75 years of, of this duo. Trio. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I, agree. We'll see. Well, I don't well, know. <laughs> so yeah. those are our final thoughts. Thank you for joining us and remember to support our sister pages of uh, the comic book nerds. Comic book nerds and, and also book book club? Comic book club, Star Wars yes. Book club. <laughs> Star Wars comic book club, yes. And of course our main page of what's the name of our main page, Jonathan? 
We'll just call the Virtual Cantina Network right now. We're, we're <laughs> workshopping the name. <laughs> All right, guys. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. See you next time.